Hello there. Microsoft Mike here. This is a tutorial video which will show you how to get Gravis Ultrasound emulation working in Windows 95. First, check your DOS box configuration. Scroll down to the Gravis part, and set GUS to true, if it is false. Also set the base, IRQ and DMA, if you want to. Next, pause this video and download the two files in the description, then come back. Next step. Open up the Gravis Ultrasound Driver RAR file. Extract the Ultrasound 411 folder. Then click Rename and delete the 411 part. Next, create a zip folder and copy the Ultrasound folder to it. Now start DOSBox. Image mount your hard drive image, and mount the folder, where you downloaded the files. Next, copy the WinZip EXE and the Ultrasound zip files to the hard drive image, by using the copy command. Now boot Windows 95 using the boot command. The first thing you want to do is go to your C drive, and install WinZip. Create a folder called WinZip and install it in there. Now open the ultrasound zip file and extract it to your C drive. Enter the folder, then go to the Windows folder. Copy all the files and paste them in your main Windows folder. Now to install the drivers. Go to Control Panel and choose Add New Hardware. When Windows asks to search for hardware, click No. Scroll down to Sound, Video and Game Controllers. Then choose Have Disk. Browse to your Windows folder, then click OK. Select the driver called Ultrasound Wave and MIDI Synth. The drivers will now install. Windows will restart after this.
We are not done yet. Go to your Windows folder and find a program called Config. This will let you set up the card. Set the base, IRQ and DMA to the same, as in the DOSBox configuration file. And check linear volume, and set active voices to 32. Click OK, when you're done, and restart Windows. If you get this error message, don't worry, we'll sort it out. Go to your C drive and open the auto exec file. If it doesn't exist, create it. And add the following line to it. Save it and restart Windows. Now go to Control Panel and choose Multimedia. Click the MIDI tab, and select Ultrasound MIDI Synth. Now go back to the Ultrasound folder and find a MIDI. If you are hearing exactly this, your Brevis ultrasound emulation is working. Now for some cool stuff. Go back to the multimedia controls, and you can easily switch between OPL3 and ultrasound mini synth. If you choose custom configuration, you can even use OPL3 and GUS at the same time. G U 
OS is doing drums, and OPL3 is doing everything else. And you can mix and match as much as you want. I hope this tutorial video helped. Thanks for watching. This is Microsoft Mike, signing off.